So it's the Parks and Facilities Building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yep, we just gotta break in, find the key, if there's a key, hopefully there's a key, and leave. Clarissa! What are you... How did she get up there? What are you doing? Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought... We thought you were dead. Clarissa! What? Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um... Hang in there, baby. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like... Uh, Clarissa! I can... Uh, I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. At least, please, somehow. You think you can control me? Clarissa. I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... this... Help me? Help me? How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Don't you... Uh, there's a ghost in you right now. They're, they've, like, perverted this... Ghost? Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the nightlight on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she... Okay, or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember... waiting in Fort Milner... and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? There's been, like, time disturbances or something, and I think that's what's been teleporting people around, so... And we just had one. Time disturbances? So you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you... are you controlling this? It's, uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, because I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all screwed. There's no reason, Clarissa. Alex didn't cause this. Jonas, I'm sorry, but you don't know who you speak of, dear. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She- Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, it would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free, he was out of here, until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. You weren't there. No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bowline. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe. Oh. Nona, it was awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I... I don't, just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the Alex in the tree. Hey, whoa. 
Man, do you ever, do you ever get deja vu? Geez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Uh, I guess you don't remember, like, anything that just happened, right? Um, to what anything are you referring, exactly? Uh, Clarissa being possessed and shrieking at me would probably be the big kahuna here. I, huh, I sorta can picture Clarissa being, like, weird or something, but I don't know, it's kind of a blur to be honest. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is, like, right there. So, let's try and whatever our way in. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. <sighs> Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. Uh, okay. Has that happened before? Oh yeah. It's... I feel like we're like a call-in show or something for them. Nice. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios? Wave-assisted lock? Whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It uh, okay, cool, great. Ooh, wait, wait, here's like a, wait, what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family or like hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just want to... Okay, here. To... Whom it should concern? This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Many truths. Shh. Inside you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! <laughs> Wait. Wait. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Oh, I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream, but I think I'm ready just to go home to be totally face up with you. Oh my God, the, the Kamaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time.
Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. The sun is not out, the sun is, I guess it barely came out just now, but see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just, never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. No, why? Why am I here right now with you? Because you said, I studied enough for my French test. I want to go to the beach. Which I thought was very unlike you, by the way. You made the right choice, Alex. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember... We're all on the island. Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... <laughs> if I were to ask you if you were, um, past Clarissa, that wouldn't make any sense to you, right? Past Clarissa? Like, like am I past the name Clarissa, or... I guess I don't understand. Uh, forget it. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and... Yeah, well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. We talked ex-girlfriends mostly. Well, now I know that's not possible because I don't call them... Actually, I'm just going to stop with that joke because if I keep going, I'd be due for a little punishment. Yeah, I'm sure. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get, like, a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... No, nah, I'm good. No, thanks. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on, I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door, we live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. 
I know it's not what you had in mind, so... What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's, okay. Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday, so that's what I see in her. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex, are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to like slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. I, uh, I, I don't know, what was I doing? Well, let's see, first you stopped walking, then you started spinning, slowly, like a dying top. And then you were talking about sandwiches, like in your sleep. I thought honestly I was watching your brain melt. Not fun. I... I was? Yeah. It was just like you... You totally lost all your wind. But, I mean, you seem okay now, so let's just get to the gate quick and do this thing and get home. Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates and some- I guess the radio will open this? Somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. But anyways, yes. We did it. We got the thing to open the gate. It's a new radio. We think that's how it works anyways. Ah, uh, cool. Then let's get out of here. Yeah, Clarissa's- <laughs> Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. <sighs> Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thought. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. There is something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying, like, secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy-Doo or whoever to figure it out. What's a Scrappy-Doo? Yeah, but we could figure it out. Aren't you the least bit curious? There's not gonna be a sunken pirate ship at the end of this, Alex. It's just a wrecked submarine. Yeah, and if you're really so anxious, you can come back on your own time. I just want to get home. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a... Chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative. But maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of, what should I call these, slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? It's like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not, it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh, 
Well, uh... What keys? They... They have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you in town, you just- Hey, I could ask you the same thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and like, wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since. So I thought I'd camp it up. Uh, and then how'd you get past the gate? It's like a slab of wrought iron. It looked impossible to climb. Well, apparently it's not that impossible since, you know, I'm here. I thought you hated physical activity. Uh, not when my life's in peril, Christ. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine, okay? Let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this, ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way? <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. Nona, are you okay? Wait, wake up! Ren, are you... Are you all right? We're in a... We're in a time loop thing. Come on, Jonas. I... I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed, signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see on the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good-humored as your mother's apple pie. 
what is it with you guys and all the the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, once they call the fish alive, four, three, two, one. The poor thing's life had just begun. Is it, are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models admitted x-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy. With my little eye, a notch. It's my best a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Uh, is it the, the... this painting? It looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round out, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of, of, I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. No! That's horrible! We can see how this might seem. Gracious, but we're past the point of caring about that sort of thing. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn. And so will you. We would spend our time wisely. And we thank you for your good service. Well, that could have gone better. Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. Okay, seriously, who are you? Sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? 
<sighs> no, that was very, very real. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. God, that... Yeah, we kind of really are. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... Yes, that would appear to be the, um, the plan. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... Oh, Epiphany. That makes more sense. Want to see if it'll start? Uh, not really.